dear students welcome you all this class will reveal you about speed and velocity difference between speed and velocity remember the last class the differences between the distance and displacement speed is concerned with the distance and velocity is concerned with the displacement speed is the rate of change of distance speed is equal to distance by time speed is mathematically expressed as speed is equal to distance by time what is the SI unit of distance? It is meter, is it not? And time, it is second. So, the SI unit of speed is meter per second. We can classify speed into two types. One is the uniform speed and the other one is non-uniform speed. Look at the definition of uniform speed. I will explain you in detail with an example. Uniform speed. If a body in motion covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, then the body is said to be in uniform motion. Now let us consider this car which is initially at rest and its position is denoted with 0. For the first 1 hour, this car reaches 60 km and it will be shown as follows. Let us start from the 0 point. Look at the time here. The time is now 3 o'clock and the car starts from the initial position and reaches 60 km for the first 1 hour. The time duration is 1 hour. And the distance travelled by this car is 60 km. In the next case, note the time. It is 4 o'clock. And the car travels from 60 km to 120 km for the next 1 hour. Like that, when the time goes on with every 1 hour, the car travels 60 km. That is, every 1 hour, the car travels 60 km. The time is now 5 o'clock and the car now reaches 180 km by the time 6 o'clock. So that every one hour the car covers the distance of 60 km. So that we can say that this car is in uniform speed. Now let us consider non-uniform speed. In the same manner, now let us consider the position of the car initially at 0. Note down the time, it is 3 o'clock. Now for the first one hour, as in the previous case, the car covers 60 km. Now note down the time, it is 4 o'clock, is it not? For the first one hour, the car travels 60 km. But this is not the case in the second case. Note down the time, 4 o'clock. And the car starts from as it is in the moving position and the car covers in the next one hour 100 km. It is not same as in the previous case. For the first one hour it covers 60 km. For the second one hour it covers only 40 km. Total distance covered by this car in this case is 100 km. And look at the next case. Note down the time. It is 5 o'clock and the car starts from this position and reaches 180 km. Previously, it covers 100 km and then it reaches 180 km for the next one hour. Do you think that the car is in uniform speed? No, it is not like that. Look at this table column. Now you will get more idea about uniform speed. This is distance and time. Then for the first one hour, the car travels 60 km. When you consider the second one hour, the car travels 120 km. For the third one hour, the car travels 180 km. If you subtract each and every part, you will get 60. 120 from 60, then you will get only 60, is it not? Each duration covers 60 km. So that you can say that the car is in uniform speed. This is not like that in the second case. That is a non-uniform speed. For the first one hour, the car travels 60 km. When you consider the second owner, the car covers only 100 km. For the third owner, it is 180. For the fourth owner, it is 250 km. When you subtract each and every part, then you won't get the same value. 100 minus 60 is 40. 180 minus 100 is 80, is it not? So that the car does not covers equal distance in equal interval of time. So that you can say that the car is in non-uniform speed. 
Now you will get more idea about uniform speed and non-uniform speed. In order to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, we can use this number 5 by 18. How we got this number? See, 1 kilometer is 1000 meter, is it not? And 1 hour is equal to 3600 second. So, 1 kilometer per hour is equal to divide 1000 by 3600. Then we will get, if you strike out 1000 and 3600, then you will get 5 by 18, the number, the constant number. Sometimes questions may be asked in examinations, then convert into kilometer per hour or meter per second. If you convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, you just multiply the value 5 by 18. Then you will get the answer in meter per second. Here is the table which shows different units in measuring the speed. Uh, for tortoise, it is 0.1 meter per second and persons walking 1.4 meter per second. Falling raindrop is 9 to 10 meter per second and look at cycling, it is 20 to 25 kilometer per hour. We can use the units in kilometer per hour and meter per second also. Okay, now let us switch over to velocity. You know displacement is it not? The shortest distance between the two points. The velocity is the rate of change in the displacement. Velocity and speed holds the same relations. Only thing is that you have to replace distance by displacement. Velocity is equal to displacement by time. The SA unit of velocity is same as that of the speed that is meter per second. Look at this picture here. He has to travel the distance of 200 meter and the displacement is only 50 meter. Then what is the velocity and what is the speed of this person? Come let us calculate in detail. You know speed is the distance by time but velocity is displacement by time. The distance covered is 200 meter but the displacement is only 50 but the time is 25 seconds. So you can calculate the speed as 200 by 25 it is 8 meter per second but the velocity is different we have to use only the displacement. What is the displacement here? It is 50. You, If you divide 50 by 25 then you will get 2 meter per second. So this person is not having the same speed and velocity. So speed and velocity is completely different. The speed is 8 meter per second and the velocity is 2 meter per second. I hope that you understand very well about speed and velocity. Then only thing is that you have to replace distance and displacement. You should have a clear cut idea about distance and displacement. What is uniform velocity? A body is said to have uniform velocity if it covers equal displacement at equal intervals of time in the same direction. Because it is a vector quantity, we have to consider the direction also. Example, light travels through vacuum. Then in non-uniform velocity, if either speed or direction changes, the velocity is non-uniform. Example, a train starting and moving out of the station. You can consider the speed or the direction it changes. Now let us come to the case of average velocity. The displacement may be different for equal intervals of time. So you have to consider the total distance covered by the object. If the total displacement of an object is divided by the total time taken by the object, we can get the average velocity. Average velocity is equal to total displacement by total time taken. Now let us consider this car and it starts from the point O. A car travels 5 km due east and makes a U-turn. Here it is the U-turn to travel another 7 km. If the time taken for the whole journey is 0.2 hour, then calculate the average velocity of the car. Come let us calculate the average velocity. Now you have to consider the distance and direction. Here it is 5 km but it is 7 km in the opposite direction. So you have to subtract. 7 and 5 then you will get only 2 km then now let us calculate the uh, average velocity it is the total displacement is it not here the displacement is only 2 km and the time taken is 0.2 hours that is the total time taken by the car is 0.2 hour if you divide 2 by 0.2 then you will get the average velocity of the car
See, average velocity is equal to 5 minus 7. It is in the opposite direction. So, minus 7 by 0 0.2 equal to minus 2 by 0 0.2 minus 10 km per hour. If you convert this into meter per second, then you simply multiply it by 5 by 18. If you do operation, then you will get minus 0 0.28 meter per second. This is the average velocity of the car. The minus sign indicates that the car is in the opposite direction. You can simply use this triangle method. We can easily find out the interrelation between V, T and D. Then V is equal to D by T and T is equal to D by V and D is equal to V into T. This is the simple triangle. We, have, we can easily find out the interrelationship between D, V and T. In questions may be asked in examinations. By simply giving V and T, you have to find out D. And D and V will be given, you have to find out T. Unlike that, you can easily use this triangle to find out the relationship between V, D and T. Calculate the velocity of the car traveling with a uniform velocity covering 100 meter in 4 seconds. You know velocity is equal to displacement by time and what is given here 100 meter. Displacement covered is 100 meter so 100 by 4. It is simply 25 meter per second. So the velocity of the car is 25 meter per second. Now let us switch over to another problem. Usain Bolt covers 100 meter in 9.58 seconds. Calculate the speed. If Usain Bolt competes with a cheetah which is running at a speed of 30 meter per second, who will be the winner? You know the definition of speed is equal to distance by time. Then 100 meter by 9.58. If you divide, then you will get 10.438 meter per second. But what is given here? The cheetah running with a speed of 30 meter per second. Then Usain Bolt competes with the cheetah. Then who will be the winner? Then cheetah will be the winner because its speed is 30 meter per second. You are walking along east direction covering a distance of 4 meter and 2 meter towards south. Then 4 meter towards west and 2 meter towards north. You cover the total distance of 21 seconds. And what is your average speed and average velocity? Here look at the man here. Look at the problem. Then the man covering a distance of 4 meter. See here the man covering distance of 4 meter. After the 2 meter, after that 4 meter, after the 2 meter. Then again he come to the same point. So there won't be any displacement. And hence I put 0 here. So if you go along with the direction and compare with this direction, then you will get 0 displacement and hence 0 by 21. There won't be any average velocity here. Okay, This is the important problem that you have to note down the displacement. But when you calculate average speed, the total distance covered is 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 that is 10 and the total time taken is 2 hours. 10 by 2 so it is 5 meter per second but what is average velocity it is 0 but average speed is 5 meter per second so you have to notice the difference between the average speed and average velocity concern the distance and displacement distinctly i hope you enjoyed this lesson i will meet you with a super good topic in the next class thank you for watching